In this video, I'm showing you how to download BlueStacks for Windows 10. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And then go and leave a like on this video as well. So I'm showing the full process of installing and downloading BlueStacks. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a web browser available because we do need access to the internet to go and download it. So let's go and open this up. So I'm using Google Chrome and I'm using Google as the search engine. So all you want to do is simply go and search for BlueStacks. Now, even though when you know the website, do please keep watching as I'm showing you the full install process as well, um, which is really important. So come to BlueStacks.com and here we are. As you can see, this is the site and all you want to do is click download BlueStacks 4. There may be a newer version of BlueStacks, so make sure you click there. So I'm going to go for BlueStacks 4 and then it's going to go and drop the download down here and then it's going to go and download it. So then all you want to do is go and click on it and it's going to take a minute to load and basically you're going to get a Windows security pop-up uh, which my computer just blocked me recording unfortunately and here we go. So I'm now going to close off Chrome, we've now finished with this and we're now in the installer. So do keep watching as I say as I'm showing you the full process. So click install now and then it's going to go and actually download the main files as previously we were just downloading the launcher. So you want to wait for these files to download, the time taken is going to depend on your internet speed so I'll catch up with you once they finish downloading. So it just finished downloading and then it's going to go and bring up this screen here. It's now checking my system requirements, um, but it's going to bring this up automatically. So what we've got to do is simply wait for it to do this and uh, I'll wait for this to finish and then I'll catch up with you then. Now BlueStacks is extracting the file, so what we've got to do is continue to wait. This process may take a few more minutes. So now the installation is now complete and it just disappeared. You're now going to have the icons on your desktop as you can see here they are and I've also got this in my menu and we're just waiting for this to load basically and here it is BlueStacks is now loading as you can see down here it says starting BlueStacks and you're going to see uh, some of the games available on BlueStacks because BlueStacks allows you to play Android games which is really cool and you can use other aspects of Android as well so we'll continue to wait for this to load and starting it up can take some time as you can see the bar is moving but what we need to do is continue to wait for this and uh, then we should be ready. So as you can see, it's pretty much finished and it's now Android is starting, so here we go. So also within here as well, you may need to log into your Android account. And here we are, as you can see, we've got the Play Store and we've got system apps. So basically to go and get any apps, we need to go into the Play Store and we click there and then we're gonna need to go and log into our Google account uh, because that's how the Google uh, Play Store works basically. So yeah, you have to go into log into there, but then you can go and see all the apps available and you can go and download them guys. It's honestly really, really easy. So you click sign in and uh, then you can go and enter your details. Um, and you go and get started basically. And to look at the system apps, what we want to do is click on the folder and then it's going to bring them up and you've got Chrome, Gallery, Media and Settings. But yeah, probably the first thing you need to do is like I was doing, is go and sign into your Google account, download some games and you're all ready. If you found this video useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.